Hello. Today I'm going to tie the NR brow trout par, a fly I developed to mimic juvenile brow trout. It's very similar to the Niagara Shiner in construction, just different colored materials are used. The hook is a Partridge Kerry Stevens streamer hook size 2. The thread I'm using is a Semperfly Nano Silk 18 aught and 24 aught white. Next, take the metal tape, remove the backing, and place it over the hook, starting at the return eye and even with the hook point, and secure. Next, trim the tape belly shaped using straight and curved scissors. Next, take a section of the small gold mylar tubing, remove the insert. Slide it over the hook and tape so the ends are slightly past the bend. Next, take the 18 knot thread, secure the back section of the mylar behind the tape. A dozen or so wraps, trim the tag, whip finish, trim, and add head cement. Next, secure the front section of the mylar in front of the tape with a 24 knot thread. Trim the excess, build up the thread, and whip finish. Next, take the gold eyes and secure it underneath the hook between the eye and the mylar body and add head cement. Next, take a section of the beige polar fiber and secure it on top of the hook behind the eyes, slightly longer than the tail. Next, take a small amount of bronze eye stub shimmer French. Secure it on top of the hook over the beige polar fiber behind the eyes. Next, take a section of the white polar fiber and secure it underneath the hook behind the eyes. Next, add the yellow polar fiber on top of the hook over the shimmer fringe and secure it behind the eyes. Next, add the brown polar fiber with flash on top of the hook, slightly longer than the yellow polar fiber, secure it behind the eyes and whip finish. Next, trim the excess around the eyes and build up the thread around the eyes. Next, I'm going to add the hot orange ice dub. Split the thread wax, add the ice dub loosely, add the dubbing twister, double over the thread and spin to secure the dubbing and brush out the dubbing. Next, wrap the dubbing behind and in between the eyes, pulling the fibers back with your fingers. Secure by the thread in front of the eyes and trim the excess. Build up the thread, whip finish, and brush out the dubbing. Next, add the white polar fiber from underneath the hook slightly shorter than the previous swing in front of the eyes. Next, add another section of brown polar fiber on top of the wing. Slightly shorter than the previous wing and secure in front of the eyes, whip finish, and trim the thread. Next, pull all the wing fibers, top and bottom, back tight using the same thread, wrap behind the eyes, trim the tag, and secure as a collar. Next, take two strands of orange crystal flash. Fold each strand over the thread and secure it along the side of the collar, both left and right for the latter one. Trim the excess slightly shorter than the longest part of the wing. Secure, whip finish, and trim. Take the red thread Wrap over the white collar, whip finish, and trim. Next, trim the butts in front of the eyes on a taper. Start the 24 odd thread. Build up the thread, trim the tag, and add head cement to the collar. Next, I'm adding the brown ice dub. Split the thread wax and add the ice dub loosely. Add the dubbing twister, double over the thread, and spin to secure. Brush out the dubbing. Switch over to a hackle plier and wrap edge to edge in front of the eyes and secure by the thread. Brush out the dubbing. Next, add the white polar fiber underneath the hook, slightly shorter than the previous one. Next, add the black polar fiber over top of the hook, slightly longer than the longest part of the wing, and secure. Next, take a section of the dyed orange and yellow rabbit fur with the hide attached and secured underneath the hook in front of the belly wing for the throat. Next, take two Cree hackle tips and measure. 
you want the tips about three quarters of the length of the main wing. Remove the excess fibers at that point and secure them by the stems on each side of the wing, left and right, and when finish. Next, trim the excess fibers on a taper, build up the thread, whip finish, and trim. Next, switch over to the black thread and cover the white head. Whip finish and trim. Next, remove the hook and add the par markings, brown and red, using permanent marker on each side of the wing and add head cement. Once the head is completely dry, add the 5 minute epoxy evenly around the head. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe and hit the like button to see more fly tying videos.